His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today a Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, senior members of the royal family, on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of the National Action Charter. The audience thanked His Majesty the King for his outstanding efforts towards enhancing relations between Bahrain and brotherly countries and prayed to God Almighty to assist His Majesty in achieving further progress for the Kingdom. The ceremony began with the recitation of verses of the Holy Quran, followed by a traditional Bahraini Arda performance. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. بمناسبة الذكرى الخامسة عشر لميثاق العمل الوطني هذه المناسبة الوطنية العزيزة التي تعد ثمرة المشروع الإصلاحي لجلالتكم حفظكم الله والتي توافق عليها أهل البحرين كافة نرفع أسماء آيات التهاني والتبريكات لمقام جلالتكم السامي الكريم حفظكم الله وإلى صاحب السمو الملكي رئيس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله وصاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله وللحضور الكرام وإلى شعب البحرين الوفي مستذكرين في هذا اليوم الوطني العزيز ما حققته مملكة البحرين من إنجازات حضارية وتنموية في كافة المجالات وما تحظى به من مكانة متميزة على المستويات الإقليمية والعربية والدولية في ظل قيادة جلالتكم حفظكم الله وخير ما نبدأ به احتفالنا هذه التلاوة العطرة من القرآن الكريم عشر واربع من شهر اثنين عشر واربع من شهر اثنين عشر واربع من شهر اثنين Yeah. <laughs> 
His Majesty the King recalled the sincere stances of the Bahraini citizens who voted in favour of the National Action Charter for the sake of a democratic approach to promote public participation in the national action. The National Action Charter constituted a milestone in Bahrain's modern history, continuing its development and building on the foundation of the fathers and forefathers who made many sacrifices for the sake of the homeland's sovereignty and prosperity. His Majesty said that marking the anniversary of the National Action Charter celebrates the success of the national process and the contribution of the people, highlighting the awareness of the people, which was the foundation of numerous national achievements. His Majesty the King said that the National Action Charter had laid the foundation for women's political rights, as well as the two-chamber system, in addition to completing constitutional and legal institutions and reinforcing national pillars, which gained consensus from the people. His Majesty thanked national institutions for their tremendous efforts, commending the effective role of the executive, legislative and judicial authorities, who have cooperated in making decisions and policies to serve the country and people. He added that they had supported national reforms, which led Bahrain to an advanced level and gained international appreciation, adding that the Charter had enabled women's empowerment in national action. His Majesty the King highlighted the role of the armed forces and their unity with their brothers within the Saudi-led Arab coalition to protect the Arab nation and support Yemen's legitimacy in line with United Nations resolutions. His Majesty noted the great sacrifices made by members of the Public Security and National Guard and their tremendous efforts to preserve security, public order and internal stability. He also recalled the sacrifices of those who lost their lives in defending their religion and homeland. His Majesty noted that the anniversary launches a new phase of greater development and reform. He said the government and the people would work together to achieve the national project according to ambitious steps to realise the aspirations for a secure and prosperous life. His Majesty confirmed the necessity of national cooperation at this stage and wished Bahrain continued safety, peace and further success in the best interests of the country and its people. His Majesty the King prayed to God Almighty to preserve Bahrain and its people and strengthen its unity. A 
Then His Majesty the King visited the National Action Charter Monument, where he was received by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Naimi, senior officials and administrative and educational members of government and private educational institutions and universities.
The ceremony started with the national anthem. Then followed poems, national operetta and songs performed by school children and university students. His Majesty the King expressed pleasure in taking part in the celebration which embodies the cohesion of the Bahraini people and the national unity that was demonstrated in the historic 98.4% vote on the National Action Charter. His Majesty then thanked all those taking part in the ceremony and wished them success. سنبقى الآن مع قصديرة وطنية بالمناسبة تحت عنوان وقع بقلبك للشاعر عقيل جعفر ومن إلقاء الطالب السيد ناصر السيد فيصل القصاب من المعهد الديني الجعفري وقع بقلبك هطلت على البحرين أمواج العلا فقدت على علم الملاحم مشعلا في كل بحر من بلادي لوحة كتبوا بها إما أوال أو فلا الفجر فيها قد أقام بلاده والنور حصحص والظلام قد انجلا مرج الإله بفضله وجلاله بحرين يلتقيان فوق رب الفلا فأصخ فأصخ ستسمع للهدير قصيدة وانظر ستشهد في الضفاف تأملا واعلم بأن بها مليكا صرحه بضيائه وبناظريه تكللا حين اعتلى العرش المطرز بالنقى عرش الحضارة فوق قامته اعتلى فهلال ثغرك فهلال ثغرك يا مليك قلوبنا للعيد أضحى والرخاء منازلا قالوا لكل زمان كانت دولة وأقول إن إن لك الزمان تدولا هذه المواثيق العريقة هاكها من معهد الإخلاص تنبع بالولا فإليك ها قطرت باسم الجعفر وبعثت أغنيتي مجازا مرسلا تروي أساطير النضال سطورها 
لتعيد أمجاد الحضارات الأولى لتقيم كونا في سماه وسؤددا عال عليه ستاره لن يزدلا عهد به الإصلاح عهد به الإصلاح شيد موطنا وتلا من المجد الميسر ما تلا فمن اعتدى وعلى جحيم قلاعها وطأت يداه بنار غيرتها اصطلا ومن ارتجى بالطيب حبة خردل منها إليه الجود هم قوافلا ومن ارتجى بالطيب حبة خردل منها إليه الجود هم قوافلا فبوصف بعضك كل شملي حائر فسل الفرز دق موطني والأخطل فكأن بحرين البطولات الصفا تنساب والمروى تفجر جدولا بحران بالبحرين ضمن قصيدة بالمد والجزر الأصيل تساجل مستفعل 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 نبضات قلبي قد غدت مستفعلا حتى حروف النفي حتى حروف النفي لو سئلت أتت لاعاتها امتثلت تصيح بلا بلا والريح حافية تهب بأرضها لو مرها الواد القدس أجفلا ولا راح يخلع سفحه متهجدا ويطوف حاف ما سعى متنعلا يا ايها التاريخ بين ضفافها طب ثم وجه شطر وجهك للصلاه واحفر على صدر الزمان حروفها بحرين وارسم بالفؤاد تغزلا وقع بقلبك وقع بقلبك فوق اسطر عهده بعد الجمال غدا سنحيا الاجمل بعد الجمال غدا سنحيا الاجمل والسلام عليكم
كل ختام نقدم لكم أبريت بعنوان ميثاق ملك من أداء طلبة مدارس الرفاع الشرقي الابتدائية للبنات وفاطمة بنت الخطاب الابتدائية للبنات والقيروان الإعدادية للبنات ومدرسة الهداية الخليفية الثانوية للبنين كلمات الشاعر علي الشرقاوي والحان الأستاذ جاسم محمد بن حربان غناء كل من محمد عبد الرحيم ومحمد الكعبي وجابر التركي وأشرف على التدريب هنادي اسكندر نوف الحجي إيمان حسن أميرة القرعان شريفة رويعي لينا ماجد عائشة العوضي فاطمة فولاذ عزيز إبراهيم وأحلام يوسف الضاعن أمتع الأوقات بحر يا ريحة الأجداد زرعها كل من حبها ورواها كل الفاق حبت لنا طول العمر مثل الهوى والساعة في الدنيا ما مثلت أبد والله أي لنا طول العمر مثل الهوى والساعة في الدنيا ما مثلك أبد والله أي
For his part, the Minister of Education thanked His Majesty the King on behalf of all Education Ministry staff and affirmed that His Majesty's participation reflected his unwavering support of the younger generation in the Kingdom.
The Ministry of Education organised a celebration at the National Charter Monument involving more than 6,000 students from public and private schools, the University of Bahrain, private universities, Bahrain Training Institute and the Centre for Gifted Students. The celebrations included a number of national events, an exhibition of educational achievements in Bahrain and a poetry contest. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace senior state officials. The Prime Minister commended historic Bahraini and Gulf achievements in international sports, expressing Bahrain's pride in the nomination of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim al Khalifa for the post of President of the International Federation of Football Associations, FIFA. His Royal Highness supported Sheikh Salman's nomination, wishing him success, and expressing confidence in his ability to develop FIFA based on his hard work and efficiency in the field of international sports and on his chairmanship of the Asian Football Confederation. His Royal Highness also commended Qatar's selection as host and organiser of the 2022 World Cup, adding that these are major accomplishments for GCC countries in the field of international sports. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that national development projects are on the rise, despite the ongoing challenges caused by the global economic situation thereby reflecting the government's sound economic strategies for boosting economic activities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace the US Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. His Royal Highness noted that the National Action Charter reflects His Majesty the King's vision of developing the political, economic, and legal sectors. He highlighted the unity of Bahrain society in the face of all obstacles and stressed the kingdom's religious tolerance and coexistence. The US ambassador affirmed his country's support of all measures taken by the kingdom to maintain its security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that international conferences play an essential role in overcoming economic challenges around the world. He expressed the kingdom's readiness to boost economic relations with the United States through economic and trade agreements and said that Bahrain was keen to attract more joint investments. Also discussed were ways of enhancing bilateral cooperation in various fields, as well as reviewing regional and international issues. The U.S. Ambassador thanked the Prime Minister for his keenness to enhance Bahraini-U.S. relations in various fields. He said his country was also ready to enhance joint cooperation and coordination at various levels. He also affirmed that Bahrain would remain a strategic partner and said the U.S. was keen to enhance cooperation with Bahrain's government in the best interests of their peoples. The Bahrain Royal Endurance Team Captain Hisani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa hailed the team's success in the UAE President's Endurance Cup, taking fourth and fifth places in the 160-kilometre race. He said that this achievement reflected the kingdom's excellent progress in endurance and affirmed that the team would continue its training and participation in endurance races for the sake of further success. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asian Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, 
and His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's gold medal in the Arab Cross Country Championships in Tunisia. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that this achievement reflected the leadership's constant support for the kingdom's youth and sports movement. He said that the excellent performance of the Bahraini athletes also reflected their keenness to honour the kingdom at Arab level. He also praised the outstanding contribution of the technical and administrative staff in achieving this success. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the Council's weekly meeting in which the Council celebrated the 15th anniversary of the National Action Charter. Members of the Shura Council expressed pride on the occasion, highlighting the Kingdom's achievements under the reform project of His Majesty the King. Mr Al Saleh then delivered a speech congratulating His Majesty the King on the occasion and praising his wise leadership. He also congratulated their Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of Bahrain on the occasion, highlighting Bahrain's political, social, economic and cultural achievements. He stressed the need for more unity to protect gains and contribute toward Bahrain's development to make further achievements that benefit Bahrain and its people. The Minister of Energy and Chairman of Tatweer Petroleum, Dr Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, officially inaugurated three facilities at various Tatweer Petroleum locations within the Bahrain field today. He also inaugurated Tatweer's new solar power plant, as well as its high-volume lift system, together with the new Aruma Extra Heavy oil pilot. Dr Mirza praised the Tatweer company's efforts towards continued exceptional progress in developing the Bahrain field and said that the new facilities demonstrated the company's commitment to conserving Bahrain's natural resources, protect the environment and to keep contribu contributing to the country's economic growth. <laughs>